Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for Capricorn and it's for the month of November, a little bit over, 2024. And my dear Capricorn, welcome to this reading. I hope you will enjoy it. It's about everything you need to know. Every certain important factor that you've been thinking, contemplating, wondering, everything and things that you're not even aware of. Things that might be coming up. Uh, things that are hidden so it's about everything and i'd like to welcome each and every one of you and thank you all for being here your coffee cup is as always it is always different it's incredible there's like a boomerang kind of effect i'm seeing which i'll go through it with details as i go deeper and deeper into it um, so much going on here but certainly I do see some sort of a, a change in plans uh, with this kind of a detour here. Let's see if it's divinely orchestrated. We'll, we'll have a look as I go um, through it. My dear Capricorn, welcome again. And I want you to know, to be mindful, if you're new to this uh, reading, prior to this, I do go into deep meditation and I'm in connection with the, with the universe and all the guiding angels. And I'm given information, which I will deliver to you. I write it down quickly and I deliver this to you right at the end of the reading. So stay tuned for that. Actually, let us stay here. Okay. So glasses on and let me begin. Let's see what is the, what are, what's the beginning all about, right? It's connected to the end, I see. So, okay, this shows that something that you will be given, it's going to continue on a full cycle until you reach that goal from which you have started from. Okay, let me have an understanding of this. It looks to me like as though you are, you have set your mind on a particular direction and You have been having the ability to endure a lot of adversity, a lot of problems, a lot of complications, problems. And your inner strength has been there, has, has been there helping you in every way. But now it's reached to a level, and that's why I said like the beginning and the end, it's united. It shows to me that the heavens are intervening and they are going to give you a, a very, very strong overwhelming powerful energy power strength power of strength that will help you continue this cycle and so that you don't get angry because you've reached to a level maybe you know sometimes when we are putting up with adversities in our lives we reach to a level when repetition happens and you keep healing the same problem and the same problem keeps repeating what happens is we go through a sense of anger, a situation where the calmness is removed and it's uh, replaced with anger because of overwhelming challenges, because of trying to control situations and and not being able to because there's other people involved, uh, other decisions. And some of them, they don't see what you're seeing and, and the problems just keep repeating. When you are the type of person who likes to get to the nitty-gritty of the problem or the foundation of the problem and resolve it once and for all. But you're not getting the support from those other people that you're dealing with or working with. Although there is one feminine energy, very supportive. And they maintain their control, this feminine energy. They remain controlled in any situation. And that helps you big time, actually, because you get to sort of understand that there is another person there, understanding, even if they don't say anything. You look for their support, even if, they, if it's just silence. Their support is silence, but it's there. My dear Capricorn, what I'm seeing is that there is going to be a lot of power infused within you so that you can continue this mission until it's over until you reach to that level that you really um, want to. Uh, a level where you're not pulled from both sides. A, a level where you are going, like you are having stability in the situation, whether it's a job, whether it's your position at work, whether it's your home, whether it's your love life, whatever it may be. 
Now you've reached to a level where there's anger. So the anger will be removed because you will be empowered and you will see that. Strong powers, giving to you strong energy so that you have the ability to continue on. You are going to be amazed. And this is the power that's going to transcend you from this level to high level. The strongest here. I see Chinese year of the goat here. I see also Chinese year of the horse. You're fighting for what you believe in. You're fighting for a, a sense of freedom from something, something that's holding you and it's taking a lot out of you. So you want your freedom. You're putting your foot down and, and starting to really taking a stand, standing your ground and saying, no, I will, you know, you want to set boundaries and you want to say no uh, to certain things that are happening that you're not happy about. But at the same time, you need to focus out your perception and just widen your perception. Look at the things you know, watch things well and whatever is happening, you know, look at it from all angles or see the bigger picture perhaps. There could be somebody watching you at the same time. I feel like somebody could be watching you um, or you might be looking at something. There's something about glasses watching. It could be perception, just perception, or it could be somebody could be watching you. Uh, maybe they're watching your performance, the fact that you're taking a stand about this, or the fact that you are defensive, the fact that you're... Um, taking advantage of this concept right the concept of um fighting for your convictions and setting boundaries and saying no when you want to say no when it's the right time to say no that that fight that battle that you're in eventually you will win but you are watched and you are admired even though they might not say it you know those who are superior to you they might not say it but you are admired for standing up for yourself and for your ideas. There is no regret in what you're doing. You're moving forward and in success. You're, you know, there may be people competing with you, but they won't be able to get anywhere on that front. And in another situation, I do see, uh, now I've moved on to the next level. The next level seems to be affecting your emotional state. You're discontented, you're bored, you're not happy. Maybe this boredom has led you to, to be attracted, to be flirtatious with someone, to hook up with someone. Maybe there's a third party, interven uh, not intervention, interference maybe. There could be a third party situation going on. There's seduction. And the, the fact of the matter seems to be, sad to say this, but it's the truth, Neither party is happy. Neither party. No, no, sorry, not happy. It's not the word. Neither party is truthful. Neither party is honest. Not you, not the other party. There's no honesty right now. There's this just temptation, let's say. Attraction. Temptation. And there's fear of expressing. Bear with me. There's fear of expressing. It's a bit chilly today. Um, the fear of expressing yourself because of fear. Maybe because you're in a third party situation. Anyway, changes are going to take place. And ultimately, in this situation, in this relationship or this situation, if it's a seductive kind of situation, a third party situation involved, you are going to be increasingly dissatisfied. And you want something more. You want, emotionally you're exhausted and you want something, you're losing interest. You're going into depression because you want more. You want more than what you have. But it's for some peculiar reason you're not free. You, you're searching for, for questions, like you're, you're searching for answers. You're questioning. And wanting to see where is happiness? How can you be happy? You're not happy. It looks to me like some of you are. You're in a codependent kind of relationship. You want to leave it. But you can't. You're stuck. There's all kinds of wanting to go. Not happy. But where will I go? What will happen if I go? There could be um, a lot of factors preventing you from leaving. So you're stuck. And maybe that's why you're having that kind of a. 
a third party thing, another situation, another attraction, another temptation, because you're not happy where you are. That's the thing. Where you are, you're not happy. Um, some of you are feeling let down. I see you feeling sad, let down, or even regretting past actions. But the heavens and, and your guardian angels and the universe are all saying, don't give in. Take up the challenge and focus because you can do this. Focus on your commitment and the future. Ultimately, I see you leaving. That's the strangest thing. I, I, even though they're saying do that, maybe your um, your focus or your rather your commitment to the future is for you to leave this unhappiness because you are in a very unhappy situation. And I see you moving on and leaving. So what you're leaving is the question. Are you leaving that third party inter interferences and that third person involved? Leaving where you're unhappy. You're leaving that situation where you are unhappy. But, you know, while you're leaving, you know. You know that there will be problems. There's going to be lawsuits. There's going to be unfavorable judgment against you because you're the one leaving um it's it's an unwanted marriage maybe but at the same time it's like you'll be overwhelmed with the crisis of oh, it's, it's their fault they left capricorn left it's all their fault and um the aftermath is the problem that can drain you a little bit but you are going to reach to a level where you can't handle anymore and because of fear you won't be discovered fear of temptation fear of extreme not only fear the unbearable unhappiness, you are going to go. I'll tell you one thing, my dear Capricorn. The future is going to be much better than where you are now. Things eventually will work out. There's happiness, there's journey, there's travel. Some of you could be traveling by water. Some of you could be uh, just traveling. But your life won't be open to so much disaster. Your... At least the disaster won't be there now. This is really bizarre, my dear Capricorn, because it looks like somebody married and they could be cheating and that's, you know, fear of being caught or even being caught or there's a lot of issues. You know, there could be loss of a home, loss of money, business, so, and lawsuits. So the problem is you will seek support. And at times you want to seek support, of course, not only from a lawyer, uh, from that perspective but you, you want to get uh, spiritual help spiritual guidance so the spiritual guidance in answer to what is happening here it looks to me like there's movement there's travel there's news there's the green light to go in order to progress because where you are unhappy you're losing interest in life you're letting go of your health. You're letting go of everything. You're depressed, so you've got to do it. You've got to go. You've got to take action. So small amounts of money are coming in. They're becoming available for you to actually release yourself. I see you imprisoned in a way like a, in a jail, like in a place where there's gates all around you and you're not able to open the gates. But I'm seeing you finally open the gates and leave because I'm seeing this horse taking you. It's like, you know, this shows that the universe is helping you to go. The restriction is over. The force being forced to live by others and their rules and regulations. Um, I feel like you you think that you've reached to a level that you did your best now. It's time for you to go. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. It's like you've done enough and it's time to go. Right. Okay, here we go. I just wanted that to be on. So... The answers before taking off need clear thinking and planning. Sometimes you need to compromise to be able to get what you want, to get to release yourself. Compromise is going to be the next factor to be able to, to, to let go of a situation. There is someone very controlling. There is a situation that's a bit excessive. There is a situation where there may be overspending, there may be addiction to something could be sexual addiction, could be substance addiction, could be compulsion, some sort of compulsion that you're compelled to do something. Um, someone trying to control you, perhaps. You are caught in a very unhealthy situation, but you're leaving it. You're healing from this and you're letting go. Somebody's going to be waiting for you. 
somebody is waiting for you. And there is that apology, I'm sorry. Somebody saying, I'm sorry. Um, somebody needs your help. They need your counsel. You, they need your support. Maybe they won't be able to handle you leaving. So that they can heal, they need your help. Be mindful of their needs. This is very important. This, this part of your journey is very important to be compassionate to their needs and help them. There's feelings that are overwhelming you and they give you fear or the person that they need your support need to be Excuse me, just bear with me, my dear beings. What is this? I see. Okay. I just have to see it a bit closer. Right. So I'm seeing there is deception. I'm seeing there's jealousy. There's betrayal. There's backstabbing. There's something really toxic that you need to get out of. You need to heal from this. You need to free yourself from this. Even sexuality. There's something about sexuality that's not... Maybe it's too much or overwhelmed or 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 counterproductive. I don't know. It just doesn't look like there's something not right. But having said that, I'm seeing a lot of healing coming. I'm seeing freedom coming. I'm seeing uh, a lot of uh, healing and love coming in your life. Somebody is going to be missing you a lot. Some of you want to leave and want to start making new memories with someone else. You are torn. I see the Chinese ear of the snake here. Very strong. I also see Virgo here. Very strong. Hmm. You want to find the you know peace and quiet to make right decisions. But you have to be very cautious with the decisions you make. I feel like there is going to be the light coming in to show you everything. So that you can see what's around you what possibilities there are to be thinking clearly to be to remove the confusion uh, you are easily distracted there's so many people around you maybe work maybe family maybe children maybe and you're in fear and in anxiety in your thoughts there's even paranoia you're scared to be caught you're scared that people are looking or watching or they might there's so much of that going on but maybe because of deception but, um, and when I say you, my dear Capricorn, doesn't necessarily me meaning just you. There could be somebody doing this, like, you know, towards you and you're sort of uh, exposed to that. This is about you and your life. So, and you know what? Sometimes it might not be, but the majority is this, what I see. There is something happening behind the scenes. And, you know, um, the truth of the matter is this is all going to be revealed very soon to you. I had to drink some water. I was drying up. Um, my dear Capricorn, this is really important what I want to say now. This is all going to be revealed. Maybe you don't know any of this now when you're probably thinking, this doesn't apply to me. What is she on about, right? Well, if it doesn't apply to you, it applies to somebody around you, near you, your family, within your circle. And it's going to affect you somehow because otherwise why would it be in your cup? Now, the, the point of the matter is, the exposure, the revelations, once everything is clear and you see things clearly, you'll be able to know what to do. Then there will be the confusion, the fear, the anxiety, all that disappears because everything is clear. You know how to proceed. You know how to move. You know what to do. You become independent. You become powerful. Your attitude will change. You become more calmer more confident and you want your time out you want your time alone you're overcoming a major challenge i see the letter a here for uh, alaska i'm also seeing number nine and i'm seeing number two number nine connected to the chinese zero of the monkey number two connected to the chinese zero of the ox buffalo and i'm also seeing um that support is going to be all around you you are going to be supported by someone now again i will say nine this represents also virgo because i saw uh virgo sign in here i'm seeing now double nine which is chinese year of the monkey someone that has virgo in them or libra either one this is very strong in this situation there is a situation where you don't have to judge it so much 
you can just surrender and just let go. Something is triggering, you know, triggering you to to judge it, but don't. Just surrender to it and let go. Let go of anything that you're holding on that has no meaning anymore. Clear the energy and bring... The only thing that brings you closer to this uh, person that you are going to be happy with is letting go and clearing whatever is there. And I see triumph. I see success. I see uh, victory. And the reason I see that, there's a great reason now it's explained to me. Now I see it. There is a soulmate connection. There is a distant situation between you and someone that's why this is all happening now this could be in regard to marriage relationship but it can also be business if there's a business that you are letting go of and it's hard and you're making decisions and there could be losses and lawsuits or money or there could be a partner now i'm seeing that a new partner comes in your life but this partner is from past life so it's your soulmate as in whether you're working together or having a relationship, it's going to be a soulmate, which is which means it's going to be a long, long term, and it's going to be empowering together. You're very much empowered together. Now there is something I would like to to do. Yes, I've got to be careful with this hand coming into the story all the time. It really shouldn't. Yes, okay, so uh, back to where I was over here. Yes, a very strong spiritual union. Somebody from your past life is coming in your life, and this is why this is happening. It could be a new love affair, and it might be causing a disruption in your current relationship, or marriage even. At times it can be marriage. and um, But... I feel like you're getting together with this person even at the cost of the marriage probably hasn't got much happiness left in it. So that's why, you know, it usually comes, if you're in love with someone, your marriage is going spectacular. Nobody comes and whoever comes, you don't give them a chance. So this is something to do with a very spiritual, deep connection. So it could be to do with uh, this person, this soulmate coming as a lover or as a business partner. And this person that comes as a business partner whatever is in their path gets destroyed so for example you're in a business it's dead it's not making money but you don't have the efforts you're so depressed you, you don't have this is just an example you don't want to let go of it you don't want to start fresh you're not in the mood you've gone through so much and it's still not giving you that which you need it's not doing you justice but you're just stuck there it's comfortable you don't have the energy. And this boost comes from the heaven. When you meet your soulmate, it gives you this boost of energy. You're not alone. You're empowered. All of a sudden, you become so powerful. And together, this person unites with you so that you can uplift it and do something much better. Connections are made through business. Connections are made through love. Connections are made through relationships. But there is, soon as this person enters your life, there is a dramatic, a dramatic, a major, an incredible effect on all of your life. So this person could come up with a lucrative idea because I do see a new income source. I do see a new passage. It's opening your life, a new enterprise. You're becoming an entrepreneur. Maybe it's a new business that you're together. You're you know you're joining a team together and you're doing well. This new idea, this new job, new uh, new concept. It's giving you energy. You're surrounded with energy. And you know what? Success is all over the place. On top of all this, uh, I'm seeing that there is a sudden amount of money coming to you. It could be a windfall. The heavens are going to be very generous. There's a lot of giving, receiving money in here, in and out. And like I said, a sudden windfall is possible. Have a look at your money reading. Take the, the, the lucky numbers from the channel. In this channel where the community section is in AUL, um, you'll see a post where it says lucky numbers. Go in there and take the Capricorn numbers and play them. I do feel that there could be a sudden windfall because I'm seeing a large amount of money. It's enormous. It's overwhelming your cup and it's giving you all the financial support to do whatever you want. Not only buy a business, whatever you want. This is going to surprise, surprise you. It's going to give you a life of wealth and luxury. Maybe you won't even need a business. That's how good it is. Um, you could be taking a vacation that wasn't even planned. All of a sudden, you want to go somewhere, have a have fun and think and 
you know, talk about what to do next. Money positions are becoming overwhelming in your life, too much. However, you have to be disciplined so that you don't over splurge, which you will never do, my dear Capricorn. If it's you, like, it's, it's a partner different, but Capricorns, they never over splurge. They do everything properly and you're very grounded people. And um, but I do see you researching. I do see you researching this big amount of money, how to protect it, how to put it into something, how to divide it, what to do with it, how to live with it, how to give yourself an income and live for the rest of your life. And you've got to listen to your heart because your heart on top of your logic and your intellect is going to help you with this situation. Whether it's a relationship situation or if it's a business or money, uh, big money in regard to business, in regard to marriage, a home, you've got to really listen to your heart and your mind together. Enjoyment is there. Sweet goodness all over your life. Your Everything is lifted out. Your negativity. All that negativity in you, all the anger, it's all being lifted out. It's out. It's gone. You become lighthearted, you become happy, you become healed, you're healing. Again, the letter A here, very strong. I, this is the second time I'm seeing A for Antarctica. I wonder if it's here anywhere in there. Oh, yeah, it is here just once. Yeah, I was looking at here, which we'll go through them as soon as I'm done with this. Just bear with me. Now, I'm seeing that you're demonstrating finding out what is important to those you love and really uh, demonstrating your care and compassion. <laughs> You're taking action, like for example, if, for example, just uh, as an example, even though I'm not very good at it, say you have, uh, say you've got so much money and your niece or nephew, they, they're trying to save up for a car. You'll just go out there and buy them the car. It might be not something that you might want to do, but you, there is so much money that you are able to do that. You're able to help those around you that really need it. Um, and in the process of that, this soulmate, you're seeing how perfection they are. They're perfectionists like you, my dear Capricorn. You're known for your perfectionism, and so 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 are they. You're reaching out. I see someone's reaching out, or you're reaching out. Somebody really wants you, and it isn't because of this money that's coming. They just want you. They've wanted you for the longest time. They want you to have faith in them and trust that they are going to try their best to bring you back. This person could be Aries, Pisces, possibly. Um, but you are experiencing love, and it's very, very bizarre. Now, what I'm seeing is very strong here, very, very strong energy. Leo, you might be dealing with someone, Leo. Uh, and Leo is very here, there's four lions. There's Sagittarius, there's three Sagittarius, two Aries, but four Leo. The fire energy Leo is very nurturing. It's very hard if you are with someone uh, to let go and you, you finally meet someone that's a Leo. They're so loving and nurturing and giving and, and, and incredible to the point where you will find it. If, say, for example, if you're with an air energy, just an example. Let's say you are with, what am I seeing here? Libra. There's Libra here, strong. Let's say you're with a Libra, right? Or an Aquarius. Could be Libra Aquarius. There's three, three of them. Okay. So let's say you are with air energy and then you meet this Leo, right? What happens? No matter how long you've had years with the air energy, if the love has already died or the business is dying, whether it's business or love, or whether you're working for someone that their air energy, there's a lot of expressional problems like with speech and disruption between your personalities. So it comes he comes a Leo. This is just an example to make you understand. This Leo comes in your life and everything changes. This person understands you. There's foundation. There's grounding between you and them. They are like you. They they complete you. You feel the sense of uh, overwhelming connection, soul connection. So that gives you an idea. You forget everything. You forget about the marriage that you were sitting in it. You forget about the business that you were sitting in. It was hard for you to let go and you were in a comfort zone, all of that can get demolished and rebuilt again. You'll have the power to do that. When destinies come, they're so profound. They can give you a boost of energy. And that was the beginning of the reading and all the way to the end, they're boosting you. And I was thinking, how? Well, of course, now I know. It is to do with this amazing soulmate that comes and uplifts your life. Now, 
Remember, Leo, the hardest one, the strongest, even though I used it in an example, but it's true, it's there. The second one I'm seeing is air energy, uh, Libra, Aquarius, strong. Uh, there could be a Gemini, all of them, they're very strong, but they're just air energies. And air energies are with Earth, they don't go well. Although Libra does go actually with Capricorn, they have really great years together, but at the end of the day, everything after time, it dies. So... Uh, I'm seeing something dying, whether it's a business or relationship, I don't know. A different uh, Capricorns will uh, relate to this in a different way. The majority is to do, I think, with, I can't even say, because it's like half-half relationship, half uh, to do with entrepreneurship, business, money, and, you know, re, re, redoing, rebuilding something that is dead already, selling it, buying something better. Um, but I do see Taurus here, very strong, my dear Capricorn. Somebody that might have Capricorn in them also. There is two Capricorn, but there's three Taurus. So Taurus, very strong. Could be Taurus with Libra. And that would give them incredible sense of uh, perception and balance and justice if it is a Taurus with Libra. Uh, it won't be so stubborn. Taurus can be very stubborn. But when Libra is there, they become flexible, open-minded. So that could be a different scenario if you are dealing with a Taurus that has Libra. But Leo, very strong. Now, if you're dealing with Earth, Taurus, dealing with Leo, fire, you can't go wrong. Fire regenerates you. And what you need now is regeneration, to be regenerated, re rebuilt again. It's like as though you were torn because of everything that you have gone through and done. Now, another one that replenishes you is water. And I'm seeing Pisces here, very strong. There's three Pisces. And just one Scorpio. The majority here, three Pisces, very strong. So this person could be Pisces, Leo, with a touch of Taurus, Libra. Can be. Imagine if they're all united, that's your soulmate. Those together are your soulmate. And anything that's similar to that, for example, Sagittarius. Uh, if you're with Sagittarius, let's rep replace, um, replace Taurus with Virgo, Virgo, Libra. Again, to get the flexibility and mutual changeable sign and cardinal all of that to have that uh, and then another one water pisces and uh, sagittarius and virgo that combination is again your soulmate so there is a soulmate that's coming and this is the boost of energy that the heavens and the universe have decided to give you to the, when when a soulmate comes in this lifetime and connects with you whatever you are doing and that person comes in whether it's relationship whether it's building a house whether it's a business whether it's a job whether it's um, a health situation, you get a, you get this person as a teacher, healer, mentor, or whatever. Whichever way they come in your life, they boost you with energy and just enhance you again and again. So there you go. It's like this candle <laughs> keeps dying and I've got to keep touching it to come alive it's amazing it's very connected to this so your soulmate is uplifting you chinese years now i've got the tiger all over the place one two three four tigers chinese year of the tiger very strong then comes the rat then comes the snake but the tiger was number one then there is the monkey what is that the mere monkey chinese year of the monkey then there is a little bit of a one two three oh there's goat there's chinese year of the ox strong ox buffalo and I saw an ox a buffalo before. Chinese year of the monkey I saw very strong. And it's there. And then and they're very united, actually. The dog and the monkey together. And then there is the dragon and the snake. Very strong. Snake is strong there. Dragon is strong. And this year is the dragon going into the year of the snake. So we are in 2024, the year of the dragon. And it's ending, end of January. We're going into 2025, which is the year of the snake. A very loving, healing year for everyone. Now... I'm going to go through this, the messages that we've got. They are complicated, my dear Capricorn. You're maybe dealing with someone that's so complicated. That's why there was all that anguish and, and, and um, distraction, anger, disruption. So you are dealing with something complicated. They are complicated. So this is the heaven saying that. Leaving. You are leaving. So you're leaving a situation that's very complicated. You're leaving. And I don't like that. Police. Police is all about law, order, and it, it is about police. Call. Maybe when you're leaving, somebody wants to hold on to you and they call the police to not to go to scare you. There could be something like that. But there is complication. There's leaving and there's police. Police could be, like I said, law, order. There was a lawsuit which you are going to be uh, dealing with. The answer is no for something. Something about no. Something, piece of 
a piece of herbs. I don't know. No, a piece of. Okay, sorry. You Maybe you want a piece of something. Um, there is a need, a piece of something, piece of a land, piece of a business, piece of. I was just given a piece of. Then I was given herbs. First, I thought there was a piece of herbs, but it isn't. They're separate. Herbs, something about herbs. Some of you are starting. Maybe you'll have got business, herb business. Herbs are there, maybe healing. Herbs are also representation of healing. So their spiritual meaning is healing. The one, remember I said the one? It's your soulmate. They're coming. They're going to be the one. No matter what, how form or shape they come, it's going to be the one. The future is looking incredible. Oh, my God, there's the Libra. <laughs> I was using Libra as an example. Libra was there and I was connected to Taurus. But there it is, the Libra we keep, we keep talking about. Libra. There must be someone, uh, Libra, that you might be either falling for. It could be a soulmate that might have Libra in there. They could be born under the sign of Libra. Whatever it is, there's justice and there is a lot of romance with Libra. Now, let's talk about the names and initials. We've got three times I was given the letter Y for yellow. Yellow. Oh, yes. Three times the letter I for indigo or India. Twice I was living, given the letter G for Georgia or Greece or green. Twice the letter J for Jamaica, Japan. K, just once. K for Korea, kiwi fruit, koala. C for cat, Charlie. Q for quilt or quails. D for dog or donuts. T for tiger or Thailand. P for pony or parrot. A for Alaska. We had A twice here. A for Antarctica. That's three times A. And S for sweet or Scorpio. Or snake. Now, um, the Chinese year of the snake was here twice, and we saw it. No, no, sorry, it was uh, where was it? Was here twice and twice there. And um, where did I say it? three times? There was Chinese year of the snake. Somehow, I don't remember how it was, but it was there. I'll just drink some more water, my dear viewers, my dear Capricorn. I'm nearly there. Now I was given two numbers. Okay. Chinese year of the ox buffalo. <coughs> ox buffalo, my dear viewers, it was here very strong. I said I said it before. I saw the buffalo big time. I saw um, number two, which is connected to the buffalo, very strong. And now we've got number two here. So Chinese year of the ox buffalo. It's connected to people that have Aquarius or Pisces in them. Connected to a lot happening in partnerships. Plenty happening from the time you see this up to two months. There will be so much happening in partnerships. And also the two is about partnerships, a lot happening in them. And it's also about abundance. Abundance as in um, the buffalo is about abundance. Now, number nine, the second number is number nine. Again, the monkey. So we had three monkeys. We had a monkey nine here. Another one, that's five monkeys altogether. Chinese ear of the monkey, very strong. Connected to Libra. <laughs> Libra's five, six time already. Connected to Virgo also. Connected to um, nine, nine weeks. From the time you see this up to nine weeks. September, connected to September. Connected to, um, it's all about one challenge that you will overcome. And then you are going to be very happy. A lot of entertainment, a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. After the challenge, you will overcome it. There's a lot of rewards. Finally, we got number eight. And number eight is about the Chinese year of the goat. We did see the goat. Uh, but not as much as the ox, the, the buffalo, and the monkey, and the snake. Not as much as them. Not as much as Libra. They were the leading ones. Okay. Uh, number eight, connected to transcending from where you are to a higher level, leveling up. Connected to people that have Virgo in them or Leo. There's the Leo. There's another Leo here. Uh, also connected to, um, from the time you see the cup, up to eight months up to eight, not months, eight weeks. I'd say eight weeks. And that is all about transcending you to high levels from where you are today. So you are going to be transcended to high levels without a doubt. Just wanted to see this part here. Mm, very nice. Yeah, I've done all that. Okay. And that is the end of your reading. My dear viewers, I do truly ask you with all my heart, if you would support me and see the video all the way to the end, it become it became 39 minutes. It's a bit too much. And this is my uh, weak point where, you know, uh, I really need support in watching the videos to the end. That's the only support I ask for. And the click of a mouse to subscribe. That's the other help. And, of course, this one takes seconds. So let me know how many people are watching and how many are enjoying. 
I really appreciate your support. I'm in gratitude to you. I wish you all my best in everything that you're doing and everything that's coming. And I'm seeing that things are going to get better and better for you. And you are going to reach to levels transcending way beyond where you are today to higher levels. As soon as your soulmate comes, can't wait to hear your feedback. Back. Give me a thumbs up. All my best wishes, blessings to all of you, each and every one of you. Namaste.